Investigators in Johnson County say an early morning house fire was simply no accident. That fire destroyed the home and police later found a van that had been stolen from the property. Eyewitness News reporter Jeremy Brilliant is in Franklin tonight with a look at the potential evidence that could help solve the case. When you look at the very little that remains of this home, it's hard to imagine the homeowner being anything but irate at the person who intentionally set this fire. But we spoke to the woman who has called this home for more than 40 years, and she is not mad. In fact, she says that she and her husband are fortunate. She and her husband spend the winters in Florida every year, so that's where they were this morning when their Franklin home went up in flames. Investigators believe someone started this fire intentionally to cover up a burglary. Today, investigators looked for any possible clues in the debris. At the same time, relatives searched for personal items, finding a family Bible. Pauline and Forrest Wells arrived home from Florida this afternoon to take a look at the damage. How am I feeling? Uh, I'm sorry the house is burned. Uh, I don't put on a show for anybody uh, about my emotions because, quite frankly, there's always something good that's going to come out of this. We have good insurance, so, you know, we're not going to be homeless because our house is burned, and aren't we more, much more fortunate than so many others. Now, police did recover the Wells van, which was stolen from the property possibly several days ago. Investigators hope to find fingerprints or DNA on that van. As for the Wells themselves, they say they are already making plans to rebuild a home here at this very site. Back to you.